The new CrossFit. CrossFit. Did you enjoy it? CrossFit, it's so fun. You're such a CrossFitter. CrossFit. Thoughts on Chad? Won't bother again. Flashback. Okay, so we're going to do Chad, which is a thousand box step ups for time. At least on a 20 inch box. You're lovely. Uh, and then me on a 24, I'm going to wear the weight vest and Elise with seven kilograms in her backpack. Lovely. See you on the other side. Montage. A flashback. Oh. Getting the green one, the hazelnut nougat. Do you want green or yellow? I will have yellow. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, it's kind of like my quads gave out quite fast, and then I found that my feet were difficult to pull off the box, and I couldn't keep up a rhythm. I'd notice you going one up down one yeah. up down one I up, found the down. second half a lot easier than like the first 200 300 like yeah. the first 200 300 I was like there's no way I'm getting through this and with the backpack on yeah because my back was hurting as well and then um then once I got into a rhythm it was fine like I'd say it's not an exciting one but um, it's a good one for it's not one of those ones where it's like good for your head isn't it yeah I think like, so I could yeah. give up so many times where it was just like well that was boring it's probably yeah. not very it's probably not that effective in a lot I of ways. <laughs> I, but like you said, it, rather than it be like effective for legs or muscle building it's or engine, for your it's isn't it? mental strength, yeah. Yeah? yeah? yeah, yeah, Excellent. There we go. That was Chad. Um, let's go home and do some news or something. Several song filled hours later. So firstly, Welcome to the channel, this is Taylor Made CrossFit. I make content in the CrossFit space for all you lovely people out there uh, who enjoy the sport as much as I do. A um, couple of days have passed since we did Chad. Uh, it, was, it, was, it wasn't a lot of fun. I don't think I'll ever bother doing that one again. Who knows? Anyway, first piece of news for you. On the Savan, Josh and Matt podcast this week, there was an interesting discussion where Matt tells a story of how Ricky Try to grass him up for using PEDs or performance enhancing drugs, steroids, whatever you want to call them. Um, check this out. Like he, he literally told me, he was like, I know you're doping, but don't worry, I won't tell. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? Like, no. And he was like, yeah, I know it. I know you are, I know you are. And I was like, oh, fuck off. That's what, but, that, but that's what oh, anybody- that, When did he say that's that what to any, you at the CrossFit game, at the games? And, and, and that's no, what after, anybody- after he popped. Oh shit! That's what Dude. anybody has to tell themselves because they're, yeah. they're, that's how they justify them doing it, right? They have to be like everybody else is doing this. That's why I have to do it. Yeah, because I, I have to level level out the playing field. Yeah, dude. He called Ricky called HQ and tried to snitch on me. Like he tried to tell him like I have cement proof, and they're like, okay, tell us. And then he had nothing. Yeah, I found that out through the grapevine after the fact. So the so way Greg, he handled is, is, that I was I heard like, a rumor. I heard a rumor. Yeah. Oh no, no. Like I, I typed they, it and I sent the, it to you. The through person DM. told me. The person told me. They were like, "Hey, you'll never guess the phone call I just got." And I'm like, "Oh, sweet. It's real nice of them." I just always thought that people who, it, you know, in the end, who have to cheat, right? They already lost, right? Because at the at the end of the day, those people have to look at themselves in the mirror and they have to go, "This is how I got there. I did it by cheating." Yeah, it's, it's not it's not great for Ricky, is it? You know, he's um, the whole way he's handled himself isn't isn't perfect throughout this whole thing. Anyway, another thing I've really been enjoying is the CrossFit Games on their YouTube channel have posted four mini documentaries about the behind the scenes of the 2017 CrossFit Games, which is I'm just it's just excellent. You know, you get to see what goes into the planning what's going through their minds when they're making certain events up, um, to some real in-depth looks at how the competitors interact with each other. Very decent. Um, and you, you know what, I'll chuck the links in the description below. So if you fancy checking it out, then just grow, scroll down there. You'll have to, to hit subscribe, so just scroll down there.
Hello, Mum, you alright? Mum, say something funny for the camera. Ave Maria. Go on, Anne. Top of your voice. Ave Maria. Ave. Ave. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Uh, Whip Fitness as well have put out a video um, uh, called The Road to Recovery, which is all about Sarah Sigmund's daughter and her ACL surgery and how she's planning on getting back uh, competition fit. So well worth a watch there. So Jacob Hadden has been pretty busy since retiring from the competition floor. He's uh, opened up this amazing, his amazing barn gym. He's on the undercard of the Eddie versus Thor uh, boxing match. Um, against Bridges and of course he's just taken part in his first tactical games which is basically CrossFit but with guns. Why not? I didn't really know what the tactical games were so I checked out a trailer. This is the most American thing you're going to see today. Unless you're in America and then it won't be. What we originally intended as an event has turned into a full-blown sport. Farms, fitness and like-minded people all brought into one place. Shooting sports industry really needed something like this. No matter how good a shooter you think you are, no matter how good a shape you think you're in, be ready to be uh, surprised at how much wind you're going to be sucking. Hadna came in fourth. That's really good. You know, I mean, he's very fit. He's going to be, isn't he? CrossFit athlete. But, um... Yeah, fourth, that ain't bad at all. So yeah, Noah Olsen, I think it was probably his birthday. He's uploaded this, which is just the sweetest post ever. I'm one happy dude, three decades deep, and I live a life that I love every single day. I'm in a relationship with a woman of my dreams. I have a puppy that's my spirit animal best friend, and I get to push my physical body to the limit every day. I still haven't found it. I have a beautiful family that I love deeply. I have friends and fans spread across the world that make me feel loved and supportive every day. I'm so great. I'm so greatly for all of that, grateful for all of that. I can't imagine it getting much better than this, but they tell me it does. Cheers to decades more. Get on there, Olsen. Last but not least, um, it's not CrossFit related, but City are in the, um, in the finals. Uh, I just wanted to replay this goal because as far as team goals go, Phil Foden. All kinds of grass ahead of him. De Bruyne. Foden. Morris! Here it goes! Manchester City can start dreaming of the final! Look at this, look! Honestly, the hustle-made stuff is so good. At least bought me a new t-shirt. Made up there, look at this. Craig Gaz doing an amazing job. Anyway, that's it for, for this one. I'm probably going to do another one tomorrow. On it. Absolutely on it. On the road to 300 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. It does the channel a massive favour. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.